Hey guys, it's a new month and we're starting a new series. Tiri <laughs> We're making Mufushwa and I decided to mix Nyefe and Munyemba. In this case, my cousin is making it. So lovingly she is. Uh, we first washed it out. We wanted to make sure all the stones and all that bite that you get in store-bought Mufushwa is out. We washed it. So you can also... Um, soak it for an hour to make sure that it cooks for a shorter time period than we did but yeah you know we we move uh, you cut your onions your tomatoes in cubes and you're going to set it aside and we start putting in the pot our mofushwa and then we put our tomatoes and onions in there because we're doing exactly how our granny does it guys please keep it up uh you put the on <laughs> you put some salt you put water till it's completely covering the veggies and you start boiling look at that it looks so great uh it took so long oh two hours some a few moments later would be shorter and uh, it, look at that after that um when the water is completely evaporated you add more cooking oil than you need because mufushwa no da mafuta and uh guys you just fry it a little bit and just like that it is ready and um you're going to enjoy this guys so what better pairing is there but to have sadza regio ah i'm sure you guys are jealous and uh we're making it with mixing a little bit of uh, roller mill in it and there ain't no rules in cooking you do what you do and it still tasted gobsmackingly good so <laughs> just try it for yourself don't trust me uh, <laughs> so uh, after a quarter sadza you're going to do the needful uh, do that yes make sure it's looking smooth as hell and everybody's going to talk about how great you are at making sadza <laughs> and uh here we are serving the food i hope you enjoy this try it out bye